it has been very chaotic before. Um, people were panicking. There was kind of a panic and a stampede when people heard that there was no water. Water was running out. The police have now stepped in. The, the authorities are policing the place. No. I can do without electricity, but currently I cannot do without water. As of today, Cape Town is rationing water for residents and is planning for day zero in 2019 when residents can no longer freely access water. The crisis was predicted in the 1990s due to inefficient planning and resource mismanagement that led to unsustainable consumption. You may think this will never happen in Canada. While we have 20% of the world's fresh water supply, recent reports demonstrate that our water is facing increasing stresses from climate change and overuse. The impacts are felt by our cities, our businesses, and our indigenous communities. What if we could prevent spoiled fishing and recreational opportunities? What if we could prevent water contamination from developments and industrial sites? What if we could detect and mitigate flood and drought damage brought by climate change and urbanization? What if we could understand our delicate ecosystems and deploy agile mitigation programs and infrastructure? How can we achieve this? All while transforming our industries, boosting our economic productivity, and saving the environment. The answer is data. Data that we have failed to collect over decades. Data to understand our land. Data to guide billions of dollars of infrastructure investment. Enter the Canadian Advanced Hydrologic Network.